This is a review on the Samsung Slim Portable DVD Writer model SE208, which according to Samsung is one of their more popular models. I bought one in 2012. This was manufactured March of 2012. And I just bought one the other day, which has a manufacturing date of April 2013. Now the first one from 2012, which I'm going to put down first, didn't work. And I left it in the box for a year, my bad, for not testing it. And just doesn't read DVDs. Now you'll see here, I have a laptop, and it doesn't matter, I have plenty of laptops, and it doesn't matter which one, they all does the same with the Samsungs completely. Um, you'll notice that here's a recovery disk, and you can open it and see the files. We'll pop this out, we'll put in a gateway one that's CD, this is a DVD. And it will come up and it reads it. So that's just to prove that these CDs and DVDs work fine. Open folder, view files. There they are. We'll close that one. Eject it. And just in case, we'll put in a burnt CD. So this is the DVD I made, the CD I made, and a factory CD. Just to prove that these discs do work. And there's that. No problem whatsoever. So we're going to eject this and I'm going to plug this guy in with the cable that came with it. I've tried other cables, it doesn't really matter. And we're going to take, you can see devices ready to use. And put that in there. Green light is going. Again, I've done this on different laptops and desktops. It doesn't matter. It's not a power issue from the USB. And this is all it's going to do. This is going to sit there and try to read and try to read and it won't read it. Of course, this one here had already read it by this point in time. And this guy is still blinking. And you can feel it and hear it making noises as it tries to read, but will not successfully read it whatsoever. And just to prove that, we'll go over here. Oh, you can kind of hear it making noises, hopefully. Nothing. So, it doesn't want to do anything. This would be the drive. So we're going to pop that one out. We're going to try to pop that one out. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't want to even come out. There we go. And then we're going to put in the gateway factory one. And of course the factory ones are considered to be better because they're not home burned. And it's trying to read. Can't read. So this drive, it's making clicky noises and all that good stuff. So it's definitely bad. So we'll try to pop that out too. And now we're going to put in the brand new one.
We'll put in the gateway. And it does the exact same thing. Now I called Samsung and I said, look, you know, I don't, I don't have a problem with, I had a unit from 2012 that doesn't work. And you can look at the number of hours it's been used. All I've done is try to actually make it work. The, but I would expect you guys to take the 2012 one back, especially because now I got a 2013 one and it does the exact same thing. There's obviously a problem with their manufacturing process. Well, they said they couldn't. Now Amazon is willing to pay, take back the 2013 one, so that's not an issue. But I would expect Samsung to stand behind their products and they sent me over to the executive service for customers. And the lady there basically told me she could do nothing and I had to go to the website and go ahead and fill out a form. But they couldn't do anything about the 2012. So I don't even know why they wasted my time with the executive service because it certainly was not any type of executive service. So, as you can see, I give uh, the Samsung Slim Portable DVD Writer a big thumbs down since I have two defective ones and they obviously do not work correctly and they will not read DVDs, CDs, will not burn they just are dysfunctional. So, Samsung needs to do something about their products and I am a big Samsung supporter for most things, but uh, this is really a you know, very poor representation of their company. Hope this helps with anyone looking for a portable DVD player. Don't buy it.